Okay, what exactly is a brown recluse? Well, it's one of the members of the Loxosceles genus of spiders, specifically Loxosceles reclusa. Yeah, that doesn't really help me. So how about you tell me where it lives? Sure. It can be found mostly in the south central United States. Just take a look at the map. So how can I tell if a spider is a brown recluse? To be honest, there are a lot of spiders that are small and brown, but brown recluses are actually pretty easy to identify once you know what to look for. This area here is called the cephalothorax, and the brown recluse has a violin-shaped mark there, which is also why it's called the violin spider or the fiddleback spider. And are there any other ways to help me identify one? Sure. Although the violin mark is the easiest way, Oftentimes, these spiders will crouch when they're resting, almost crab-like. Okay. Well, what does it eat? Like most spiders, the brown recluse eats insects and other small bugs, and sometimes even other brown recluses. So, it makes a web to catch stuff? Not exactly. Like all spiders, the brown recluse can spin silk, but it doesn't make these beautiful designs like this, or even the messy ones in the corners like this. Instead, it makes a thin layer of silk that acts more like a tripwire, so when a small creature approaches, the brown recluse senses the disturbance in the web and rushes over and grabs the bug. Take a look at one of their tripwire webs moving. Yeah, that's kind of freaky. So you said it lives in a lot of states. But does it live in my yard? Or even my house? Actually, brown recluses are very common in residential areas, and several research programs estimate that almost 90% of houses in the brown recluses range are populated with these spiders. Wait, what? These things are living in my house? Probably, but don't worry. The last thing they want to do is bother you. Um... That's not good enough. I want to know where in my house these monsters are hiding. Are you sure? Hey, you started this. Okay. These spiders are primarily nocturnal, which means they're most active at night, and they can be found anywhere that has a small area for them to hide in. Some of their favorite places are between stacks of wood, or layers of cardboard, or underneath the flaps of boxes but they can also be found along floors, or in corners, or along the edges of carpet. You can find them on old window seals, inside cabinets, even on bookshelves, and everybody's favorite place, inside the bathtub. That's both terrifying and disgusting, but there couldn't be very many of them in one area, right? Um, well... Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Under certain conditions, brown recluses are able to congregate in fairly impressive numbers. Take a look at a small area between two sheets of plywood. I'll give you 10 seconds to count them. Okay, let's examine this a little bit closer. There are 34 brown recluses in just this little section. That's it. I'm moving. Like, right now. Well, I don't think you have to take that drastic of a measure. That's easy for you to say. I mean, I've heard so many horror stories about these spiders. Are they going to bite me? And if so, what happens? Like most spiders, the brown recluse doesn't want to bite you. I mean, think about it. To it, you are a 500-foot-tall giant. However, 
Bites do occasionally happen, but they're usually caused by accidental contact encounters, which means the spider is trapped or squished between you and another object, like a couch cushion. Yeah, that didn't make me feel any better. But if I do get bit, isn't my skin going to rot away, or will my leg fall off? Most medical information indicates that the large majority of bites proven to be from a brown recluse are minor. In rare occasions, a person may have other systemic effects like necrosis. Okay, so how do I get rid of them? Spray my entire house? Well, nothing is 100% guaranteed. You see, brown recluses are survivors. They can go over a year without feeding, and the females guard their egg cases, each one of which can have over 50 eggs inside, and she can lay several egg cases each year. As they grow, the spiders molt, which is like shedding their outer layer. You can find these molts in areas where they live. Plus, these spiders can stay alive for over three years, even in some pretty harsh conditions like cold basements or hot attics. Like I said, they're survivors. So there's nothing I can do. The best thing is to understand how to identify them and work on reducing areas that they like to hide in. Calling an exterminator can help and glue traps can reduce their numbers as well. Well, I can't say that I'm very reassured with all of this information, but while I'm here, is there anything else you want to tell me? Of course. Most spiders have eight eyes, but brown recluses only have six and those eyes will reflect light at night, kind of like the eyes of a deer in headlights. So there you have it. Everything you wanted to know about brown recluse spiders, and probably some things that you didn't want to know as well. Make sure that you like and subscribe to this channel for more amazing videos, and thank you for watching Walking on the Wild Side with the Crazy Critter Guy.